Hi guys, welcome to this video and today we are going to be discussing planar cross stratification. Planar cross stratification is a sedimentary feature that is formed by two dimensional dunes. This is a graph of bed forms which indicates uh, different, uh, different uh, bed forms that are formed uh, and this can be described from based on sediment diameter and mean flow velocity. This diagram this graph can be divided into three sections an upper flow regime a lower flow regime and a transition zone the upper flow regime contains the upper plane bed which is this yellow region any part above the yellow uh, that contains the upper plane bed is found in the upper flow regime the lower flow regime contains the lower plane bed which is this region right down there and the ripples and dunes occur in the transition zone. Upper plane beds are formed when you have a high mean velocity and a small sediment diameter. Lower plane beds, on the other hand, are formed when you have a high mean sediment diameter and a low mean flow velocity. The ripples are formed when you have a low mean flow velocity and a small sediment diameter and once you increase the sediment diameter then the ripples gradually form dunes formation of dunes um, can be determined by bed load transport which is either traction or saltation this dictates the geometry of the cross stratification when you've got traction the sediment flows up the dune length and once it gets to the crest it avalanches down the leeward side of the dune this will give a cross stratification geometry which is steeper and the angle between the lee side and the next dune length is very sharp however when it comes to saltation the sediments are moved uh, in a series of short hops and once it gets to the crest, the same motion of short hops is still maintained. And therefore, the distance that the sediments move from the crest to the bottom of the trough is larger compared to when they just avalanche down the leeward side uh, in traction. Therefore, the angle between where the sediments land and the next dune length is shallower and the cross stratification is uh, is thinner uh, if you compare that to what happens uh, in traction so the cross stratification for traction is usually uh, larger in size compared to uh, cross stratification that is formed from from saltation again cross lamination which is small scale cross stratification is formed by ripples and cross bedding which is a larger large scale cross stratification is produced by dunes cross stratified deposits can only be preserved when a bed form is not entirely eroded by subsequent bed form that is simply put uh, to say sediment input is greater than sediment output so if we've got more deposition happening on the leeward side compared to the erosion happening uh, on the dune length then we can maintain cross uh, have more cross stratified deposits planar cross stratification is produced by straight crested crested bed forms and sinuous bed forms will produce trough cross stratification this is a very clear example of planar cross stratification uh, we can see very clearly uh, the strata in here which is divided by this beds uh, we can clearly see the stratification occurring in between and we can say that the direction of flow was from the left to the right so we could see that sediment was um, being carried to the top of the crest and then it rolls down so we had a uh, successive movement of uh, the dunes from the left to the right so this is a very good way in which 
the stratification was maintained. Uh, I hope you have learned something new and thank you for watching.